what is up my bats and bots and today we're doing generations again um it's been studio series for the last few times and finally got a generations guy and look at evolution that's cool and this is magnificus so we'll take a look at the box before we look at magnificus and look at the box this is generation select so it is gonna look different and i picked this up at gamestop so yeah nice artwork Evolution, Magnificus, there's his name again. Another side, got words, things, and stuff. Plastic free packaging, Septicon symbol, the rest of them, nothing. You open it up, Evolution again, and you get a lot of detail. And yeah, cool stuff. And taking a look at Magnificus here. He is pretty cool. I, I definitely really like this figure. Looking at the details. Nice yellow for the eyes. Nice silver for the face. Septicon symbol. Done in purple, as always. Um, black and gray. Not much going on. But for articulation, head can do a full 360. It's on a ball joint, so you can get all the kind of wheeliness. And you can look up by the transformation joint, but you can only like go so far. Um, it's a little magnifying glass, you can you can move it all around. Arms can do a full 360. Elbow bend, bicep rotation. Hands can move in for transformation. Waist rotation. Next, move forward that far, back about that far. You can do the full splits. Um, there is this joint for transformation, kind of like break his leg. Um, you got deep knee bend, toes can move down due to transformation, and you got ankle tiltage. So yeah. Does he come with any accessories? He does. Only one. It is like, kind of rifle, done in black. Wield that. If you want to, you can store it back here. But me personally, that doesn't look that good. So I just leave it in his hand. So it can pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And sadly, it isn't blast effect compatible. So boo. And on to comparisons. First up, we got his mold mate, Perceptor. So you can say who's who, what's what, where's how. And yes, this is Studio Series Perceptor. This is what he's based off of, so cool. Now here he is with his good friend, Leader Megatron. And me personally, I think that scale is pretty good with him. So, yeah. Now that's done with. Let's go on the transformation. So, first things first, we get rid of his gun, put that off to the side. Flip his hands in. Then you want to take the arms down via this joint. You can rotate his head, but you, you have to. Because then when you flip it in, it's... And it's... Mine's really tight here, so... Yeah, it's it sits in there really well. Then you want to move the magnifying glass right here. Move this up, move this part up, so that'll tab in. Then you want to rotate the arms, move them back down, tab those in, so that's where they'll be sitting. Then you want to move the legs up, about that far, back, like, it, you kind of get the feel of it after, like, a little bit. So, then you flip down this, and you flip down that. We're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! Most times he doesn't. He's really wobbly, though. Let me just bring the camera down. And let's look at the details. Nothing much we've seen before, except this is like exposed. So cool, I guess. And there was a Decepticon symbol on the magnifying glass before, or microscope. I I don't. I'm not a science. 
I don't really do much of science, so I... Please do not correct me if I am wrong. But, yeah, not nothing much we've seen. This is kind of wobbly. And the gun, there is many places you can store it. You can put it right here. If you want to, you can just put it right here. Wherever there's like a port, you can, nope. You can just shove, shove it in there. It's not going in for some reason. I don't know. But, yeah. Or you can just put it back in the spot where it was supposed to store originally on the figure, so... Yeah. And here he is with his mold mate Perceptor. And the only thing you can see is the coloration, and that's basically it. And I, I just did that because why not? Um, yeah. And here is a Megatron. He is supposed to have the long barrel, but I, I didn't feel like taking the sword out, so I just. It, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's literally the same thing, but it extends it. So yeah, this. I never understood how Perceptor, like, just a microscope worked. And it's it's cool, don't get me wrong, but like, how how does this work? How? And can you look through the microscope? You can. Yeah, you can see it works, but not really as much. Like, it's not like a real microscope, it's just like two pieces of clear plastic, and you can't really see through clear plastic as much. And going on the transformation for the third time, yes, he does have a third mode. And it's not really that good. Perceptor does too, and I'll show that off too. But all you have to do is you kind of like you pull that back, rotate your legs up, rotate them up again, and this little slot right here is going to go into that tab. And you're going to do that on both sides. And that's it. That's literally... Oh, you got to take this gun out. That's literally it. And me personally, what I like to do, I flip this in and kind of have it like this, like a cool-looking Cybertronian tank. But per the instructions, you have to have it like this, so... And I believe the G1 toy did do this, and it was kind of like a mobile lab thing. How does that make sense? You're a walking microscope, and you call this the mobile lab station. It's You're just a pancake, man. Okay. But... Yeah. Here he is with Perceptor for the third time. And yeah, only thing is, is coloration. And that's it. So, yeah. And again, here he is with Megatron. This kind of makes more sense. If you have it like that. That, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Me personally, I think that makes more sense. I don't know. So now, here are my thoughts on the figure. I personally really like this, and again, it's it's like what Hasbro does all the time. It's a repaint, but they just remolded something, and it works out really nicely. Like, this head sculpt, I love that head sculpt. I am a sucker for the battle masks. I that's why I love G1 Optimus. It's just battle masks are awesome on Transformers. And I I don't know if if it's some or what because I remember seeing Magnificus and like stock images and everything with red eyes. I don't know if I was just losing it or what. But yellow works just as good. And I personally really like the Studio Series Perceptor mold, but since 
all the like the new cardboard, like they're stuck in cardboard instead of plastic, it it leaves some of the joints really loose. Like these joints right here on Perceptor, they suck. Like suck so bad that I can't even move the arms without them falling back. And he scales pretty well with Megatron robot mode, but microscope mode, it, it still doesn't make sense, but it's really cool. Just like every other G1 Transformer, it doesn't make sense, but it's really cool and you really want to get it. It's it's crazy to me how this works, but with that out of the way, if you... Oh, before I forget, before I forget, I did pick this up at GameStop. It was a Generation Selects, so you can only get it online or at GameStop or whatever, wherever Generation Selects are sold. I don't think they're sold at Walmart or Target or like... Meyer or anything like that so kind of check out your local GameStop because I just saw this I'm like okay I'm gonna get it because he was one of the generation selects I was really really looking forward to and he did come out around the same time as Holiday Optimus so yeah and again he was scheduled for December of 2023 and so was the Holiday Optimus so I guess they were like you know what, let's release this with all the Optimus. So I'm like, okay, coming out early, found it early, why not? So, yeah, with that out of the way, again, don't forget that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that. Don't forget to hit the bell notification video, I'll find about future videos, shorts, maybe, I don't know, live streams, it could. But, this is Dark Anonymous Prime saying, see ya.